right so i am going to deal with the kingdom protista kingdom protista that is a unicellular eukaryotes they reproduce via asexual or the sexual mode when they reproduce via sexually or the sexual mode they undergo either fusion or the zygote formation they have a wall or they have the well defined nucleus and the membrane bound cell organelles right right kingdom protista kingdom protista are being classified as rhizophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoa okay rhizophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans now when you talk about the chrysophytes now see students all these chrysophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans they are being classified or they have they are being characterized based on some basic features either with the or they are being differentiated based on habitats based on the cell wall structure based on the mode of nutrition or based on the in organic conditions okay that is your economic importance right now when you talk about the chrysophytes when you talk about the chrysophytes example of chrysophytes are the diatoms or the golden algae or the desmids now habitat habitats are what example of dinoflagellates as the gynecalex that is a red color algae then you have the euglenoids euglena slime molds or the protozoans right now i am i am dealing with the chrysophytes that is their habitat they are the free water or the marine forms most flow passively with the water current okay they most flow passively with the water current they are mostly marine what are dinoflagellates they are mostly marine euglenoids most are found in the stagnant fresh water then the slime molds they are mostly along decaying leaves or the twigs is it clear right so what are habitats habitats for the chrysophytes they live in the free water or the marine forms dinoflagellates they are mostly marine euglenoids they are mostly found in the stagnant fresh water slime molds they are mostly decaying mostly present on the decaying leaves or the twigs right the cell wall structure now when you talk about the cell wall structure the chrysophytes are made up of two overlapping structures halves impregnated with the silica they are made up of silica see student the chrysophytes they have the two overlapping walls so when you talk about the two overlapping walls it's just like a soap box okay one you have soap box covers right so they are being present in the two overlapping colors right they have the when you talk about the cell wall structure they have the stiff cellulose plates on the outer surface and the euglena no cell wall but have the proteinaceous structure called as pellicle what are they are called as pellicle where they make the body flexible okay right slime molds they are dusting during unfavorable conditions and they form the fruiting body with the spores are present with the and having a true walls they have the true walls clear mode of nutrition now when you deal with the mode of nutrition the chrysophytes are mostly photosynthetic they are the chief producers okay they are the chief producers walls are indestructible so make excellent fossils fossils wall deposits by diatoms accumulated in soil okay accumulated in soil and and make it gently diatoms okay what they reproduce so fast that the whole marine area will become the diatomous earth as it is form of silica right what is the economic importance of that of chrysophytes the economic importance of chrysophytes they are responsible they are useful in polishing and filtration of the soils and the filtration of the soils then you have the then you have the dinoflagellates in dinoflagellates the habitat are they are mostly marine their stiff cellulose plates on on the other outer surface photosynthetic they are again they are the photos in the appear appear of different color based on 